so by the end of this message if you listen and hear the words I'm saying you will have salvation guaranteed the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk Holy with him Ghost by saying God words my name is Andrew Hemstra thank you for joining us the if this Father is your first time here make sure you subscribe Jesus if this right. isn't your first time here and you're blessed by these messages then consider Holy becoming God a partner the earth today. I've been asked this question and I've asked it myself with all this focus on the Holy Ghost where does this leave salvation or the salvation message to which I say it leaves it solidly in the scriptures if you want to have real salvation it's going to be solidly based in the scriptures right and over and over we see that we are to believe on Jesus and receive the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. yes. so I will be saying this many many times say many many times, many, many times. believe on Jesus receive the Holy Ghost now if you do that believe on Jesus receive the Holy Ghost then you're you're scriptural in your salvation yes. you understand you can be solid mm -hmm. but this is how you get saved this is how you get saved, how you get saved. right and this is how you know you're saved it's not a feeling it's not a feeling salvation is not a feeling say salvation, salvation. is not, is not a, feeling. a feeling so anyway we're gonna believe on Jesus and receive the Holy Ghost we are never told to receive Jesus into our hearts or otherwise I'm gonna show you by the scriptures you're like this sounds like heresy this sounds like like uh, this can't be right I'm gonna show you from the scriptures mm -hmm. and if the scriptures are right then maybe what you've been believing or heard preached was not right and was leading you in the wrong direction mm -hmm. is that possible yes. Yes. so we believe on him Jesus yes what he did for us and where he is right now where is he by the way right now in heaven at the Father's right hand but we are told repeatedly say repeatedly, repeatedly to receive the Holy Ghost yes. why would that be because Jesus is in heaven at the Father's right hand and the Holy Ghost is God in the earth we need to receive him we believe on Jesus say believe on, believe on. Jesus and receive mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. that scripture tonight I'm going to show you the right way to get saved you all right with this yes. wouldn't this be good the right way to get saved and this is not the die and go to heaven gospel that you've probably heard in my estimation that's a defeatist gospel you're already defeated if you start it out that way that's your end goal die and go to heaven it's sad it's fear-based say it's fear-based fear -based. you ever heard people try to get people scared oh you don't go to hell oh if you don't get saved what would happen if you left here tonight mm -hmm. and you weren't saved and you had to die and where where would you be what is what is that is that faith is that preaching faith no. that's fear mm -hmm. is it not mm -hmm. it's wrong you think you think preaching should generate fear or should preaching generate faith I'm not saying you won't die and go to heaven if you were to die you understand that I'm saying that that if that's the goal and that's that's what the preaching is the end result of your getting saved then it's defeatist at best and it's religious at worst why do you say that because it provides nothing for you in this life and that's why you have so many believers that hold to that kind of a gospel that look down their nose at you if you try to believe for anything in this life yet we're supposed to walk with the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy yes. mm -hmm. we serve a living God so yes if you do happen to die and believe this gospel I'm preaching you will go to heaven but that's not the point 
that's not the goal so by the end of this message if you listen and hear the words I'm saying you will have salvation guaranteed anyone can do it it's not complicated whosoever will I will be saying words that if you hear them and believe them see now how, how many of you have you ever heard this before you know if you oh if you don't if you don't raise your hand when I say every head bowed and every and you don't come down to the altar and, and pray the prayer then you won't be saved that's not in here okay I'm gonna show you how you can have guaranteed say guaranteed, guaranteed salvation and by the end of this message tonight if you'll listen and hear you will have have salvation salvation is much more than just going to heaven when you die it includes a lot of other benefits but it certainly includes remission of sins meaning your sins are forgiven and heaven is an eternal home it includes all of those things <laughs> I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're listening well what's the real point and the real goal to getting saved so what are you saved unto and I've asked myself this question uh, a lot because it seemed to me that people were getting saved they weren't getting saved unto the right thing and I'll tell you why they don't know what the right thing is so they can't have the right goal to get saved into mm -hmm. but you answer that and it leads you to the proper process of getting saved salvation is important but what are you saved unto if the whole salvation thing is just you die and go to heaven I think you missed it you are you ready for this mm -hmm. you're saved into fellowship with the Holy Ghost we believe on Jesus get saved into fellowship with the Holy Ghost believe on Jesus receive the Holy Ghost say believe on Jesus, believe on Jesus. Receive, the Holy Ghost. receive the Holy Ghost what should be the goal then receiving the Holy Ghost and being in fellowship with the Holy Ghost you get cleaned up by what Jesus did and you become a living breathing speaking temple of God that's the goal and if we start with the goal are you here if we start with the goal we'll have the right steps and the right process to get us there so the fact is you get you get to meet and know the Holy Ghost say I get to I get meet meet and know, and know the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost that's the goal that's the point well I don't know if that's the point then you're missing it that's the point of salvation that's the goal of salvation I've got some things to say tonight that are gonna feel really good I can tell when I get ready to say them but they're later on so get ready that's the goal that's the point what meeting the Holy Ghost knowing the Holy Ghost not dying and going to heaven that's an afterthought that just I'm sorry you died you but you got to go to heaven mm -hmm. are you here yes. so you get to meet and know the Holy Ghost walk with him and be changed from glory to glory to glory to glory salvation the point and destination and goal of salvation is knowing and walking with the Holy Ghost salvation is knowing and walking with the Holy Ghost who I'd like to see people getting saved the right way and getting saved unto the right thing what's the right thing meeting and knowing the Holy Ghost and walking with him as God in the earth today Ephesians chapter 1 let's look at verse 13 in whom you also trusted after that you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after say after yes. that you believed who did they believe on would have been Jesus after you believed you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise who is the promise in this verse the goal of the salvation is to complete 
and have the promise after you believed you received the promise who do we believe on Jesus you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise which means you received the Holy Spirit of promise are you getting this yes. who's the promise Jesus no you read that verse wrong who's the promise of your salvation a relationship with Jesus no the Holy Ghost if I get saved the right way I'm ready to receive the promise mm -hmm. say if I get saved, I get saved. The, right way, the right way I'm ready, I'm ready. to receive, receive the promise the promise of my salvation are you getting this Acts chapter 2 verse 38 then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promise is unto you who's the promise unto those who believed on Jesus they received the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost here said he is the promise so he the Holy Ghost is the promise of salvation you have a problem with that if you do you have a, have a problem with the word he the Holy Ghost is the promise he the Holy Ghost is the destination and that includes all of the promises because all of the promises in him are yes and amen are you here yes. so salvation is him the promise and it includes healing deliverance prosperity soundness of mind and youth renewal mm -hmm. just to, to name a few and who do those come through the promise who is the Holy Ghost who is the Living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy he is the destination he is the point my friend if you got saved into anything else or unto anything else then you're you're missing so much and I feel sad for you and after all of that if you happen to die guess where you go to heaven mm -hmm. you just go there better off first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 for they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God now here it says they turn to God from idols what does it mean there's another word I'm gonna bring it out here what does it mean when you turn from idols to God you you turn around what is the word for that what's the Bible word for that repent repent, repent. that's what repent means you turn away from something and you turn to something say turn from something turn, from something. turn, to, something. turn to something that's repenting you're repenting from the thing that you're turning from here it says you're turning from idols to God to serve the true and living God who is the true and living God by the way Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost he's the true and living God in the earth today who does this say that they turned to to did they turn to Jesus no. No. no who did they end up serving the true and living the, the Holy Ghost yes. the true and living God are you getting this yes. so real salvation yes you turn from your sins but then you turn to and serve the true and living God mm -hmm. that's the goal of your soul are you getting this mm -hmm. that's the goal of your salvation that's the point who are you turning towards the Holy Ghost you turn from your sin to him say I turn from my sin, from my sin. to him yeah. he the Holy Ghost is the author of the word that you must believe second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so these scriptures were spoken 
by the Holy Ghost he the Holy Ghost is the author of the word you must believe to get saved he the Holy Ghost is the author of the word you must believe to get saved he's also the one that raised Jesus from the dead well I've heard salvation messages before but never like this yeah I know Romans chapter 8 verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you who's who's the spirit that dwells in you the Holy Ghost it says here specifically that the Holy Ghost is the one that rose Jesus from the dead he is the one who quickens you I'm turning to him I'm believing his word in what Jesus did and he's the one who quickens me say he's, he's the, one the one who quickens me John chapter 6 verse 63 it is the spirit that quickens who does the quickening the spirit, the spirit that quickens the flesh profits nothing the words I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life the words that Jesus is speaking to them are you here mm -hmm. our spirit and life these are the words that you must believe mm -hmm. to get saved the right way guaranteed it's the spirit that quickens through words and belief of those words say through words, through words. and belief of those words not a feeling simple belief of the words that the Holy Ghost says Jesus saves is a misnomer we've all heard it we've all said it I've said it thousands of times people say it Jesus saves is a misnomer it leads in the wrong direction Jesus isn't saving anybody who quickens the spirit quickens who's God in the earth today the Holy Ghost where's Jesus if you believed if you've believed correctly he's not here he's in heaven mm -hmm. Jesus receiving Jesus in your heart also put you off on the wrong foot Have you ever been in a marching band or marching in a line with somebody and if you step out on the wrong foot guess what you never get on the right foot until you do a little hop skip and a jump mm -hmm. there seems like a hop skip and a jump I'm trying to get you on the right foot the Jesus isn't here therefore he can't save you he did what needed to be done for you to believe words and be saved say be saved, be saved. in the active sense of I am saved now are you here mm -hmm. but trying to receive Jesus into my heart is is a lesson in futility it doesn't work mm -hmm. yeah but I know people that go they may, yeah it was accidental mm -hmm. because they believed other things I can show you that in a bit but why do you want to be accidental about it I'm excited about it let's see John chapter 3 let's look at verse 5 very familiar verses of Scripture verily verily I say unto you except a man be born of water and of the Spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of God that which is born of the flesh is flesh that which is born of me is born again is that what it says that which is born of the Spirit now I'm gonna ask you a question who is Jesus preaching about right here about getting saved and getting born again who was who was Jesus preaching about the Spirit the Holy Ghost unless you're born of the Holy Ghost well who am I gonna go to to get born of the Holy Ghost it has to be the Holy Ghost and it has to come through his word that's how he does everything mm -hmm. are you here yes. I'm helping you out if you will listen to me tonight you will have actual real salvation and not some religious thing mm -hmm. and you can be solid in the word over it he's the one that's the author of the word you must believe he's the one who raised Jesus from the dead he's the one that quickens you 
he's the one Jesus was preaching about here it said you had to be born of him what if I told you you must be born of the Spirit who would you go to for something like that if <laughs> seems pretty obvious now right if I told you you must be born of the Spirit who would you go to to be born of the Spirit the Spirit, the Spirit. Mm -hmm. so who would you go to or turn to remember who would you turn to the Living God mm -hmm. and serve him are you getting this I realize this is difficult because so many of us have, have been brought up thinking something completely different and we got to flip it over you you're out of lockstep so you got to get in step mm -hmm. the goal of our salvation was never to die and go to heaven or receive Jesus in our heart the goal of salvation is to get cleaned up so the Holy Ghost could come into you and you could walk and live with him in the earth until Jesus returns it's pretty simple but we've messed it up with all this other gobbledygook say gobbledygook. gobbledygook so if I told you you must be born of the Spirit who would you go to or turn to for something like that Holy Ghost Jesus preached receiving the Holy Ghost not him are you ready for this some of you are and I'm welcome Luke chapter 4 verse 14 and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee and there went a fame of him throughout all the region round about and he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all right most people would agree that this is the beginning of Jesus's ministry right yes. the Holy Ghost came on Jesus he went out was was tested by the devil 40 days 40 nights and fasted remember all of this mm -hmm. then he came and returned in the power of the Spirit verse 14 so this was the beginning of Jesus's ministry say this was the beginning, was the beginning. of Jesus's, of Jesus's ministry. ministry and we go down here it says verse 17 delivered to him the prop book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written these are the first recorded words that we have of Jesus when he entered the ministry the very first words that came out of Jesus's mouth the Spirit of the Lord is are you here mm -hmm. the first words of Jesus mm -hmm. the Spirit of the Lord did Jesus preach Holy Ghost yes the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he immediately he's letting people know he is the Spirit Lord he is a person he is God are you here yes and he goes uh, he does all of these things set at liberty them that are bruised verse 19 to preach the acceptable year or time of who Jesus yeah. no the time of the Lord who the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. Jesus preached about the Holy Ghost can you see this was the first thing that came out of his mouth and the acceptable year of the Lord what do you suppose the last thing that came out of Jesus's mouth was Acts chapter 1 verse 4 and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but wait for mm -hmm. wait for it mm -hmm. don't go anywhere wait for it the promise who do we know the promise is we've already been down this the promise is the Holy Ghost wait for the promise they'd already believed that Jesus was rose from the dead he's standing there talk to them talking to them mm -hmm. and he said wait for the promise what was the goal of their salvation was to wait for the promise at this point which saith he you have heard of me what they heard of the Holy Ghost by Jesus mm -hmm. Jesus must have told them and preached to them about the Holy Ghost for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with or into the Holy Ghost not many days hence Go down to verse 8 but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you 
jesus's first words were the spirit of the lord jesus's last words were don't go anywhere but you shall receive all of these things when you receive the holy ghost mm -hmm. what was the culmination of jesus's ministry people receiving the holy ghost and it says so right there you shall receive so we believe on jesus Are you still here mm -hmm. we believe on jesus in fact if you're believing on jesus what he said right there that's what you're believing mm -hmm. you believe on jesus and you receive the holy ghost over and over and over we see believe on jesus and receive the holy ghost still don't believe me let's go to john we're just in john go to john chapter 7 verse 38 he that believes on me as the scripture hath said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water but this spake he of the spirit which they that believe on him should receive for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified believe on Jesus receive the Holy Ghost is this in your Bible this was in the middle of Jesus's ministry our gospel should be rooted in the destination of receiving the Holy Ghost the point right the point of the gospel is to who the Holy Ghost the point is for your sins to be forgiven and cleaned up so you can receive the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. what part of die and go to heaven is there in there no. that's an after effect sure but that's not what Jesus was preaching so why are you preaching it messing people up and then the Holy Ghost says to me I don't want people receiving Jesus in their hearts I want them to receive me can you hear that the Holy Ghost says I don't want people receiving Jesus in their hearts I want them to receive me now if you have a problem with that you have a problem with this and all of the things that I've just been saying any salvation without Holy Ghost as the destination must be corrected I'm going to show you two examples of apostles doing exactly that you know you keep thinking about what I'm saying in terms of your own religious dogma or this church or that church knock it off I'm not speaking this by any religious doctrinal denominational dogma I'm telling you this by the Holy Ghost and the scriptures mm -hmm. so that you can have true salvation guaranteed Acts chapter 19 verse 1 and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples verse 2 and he said to them have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed any salvation so-called without the Holy Ghost must be corrected here's the Apostle Paul immediately jumping on it first thing talks about the Holy Ghost you talk about the Holy Ghost too much with all this emphasis on the Holy Ghost what about salvation well Paul what about it have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed so he he perceived they had believed they did the believe part mm -hmm. now they had to do the receive part and they said we don't we'd not even heard that there whether there be any Holy Ghost any people like that today yeah and he said unto them unto what then were you baptized and they said unto John's baptism and then said Paul John verily baptized with the baptism of 
repentance saying that they should what believe on are you here am I making this stuff up saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him that is on Jesus Christ you believe on Jesus meaning there's words that people are told about Jesus mm -hmm. say there's words, there's words that people, that people are, told are told about Jesus, about Jesus. and who, who do those words come from Holy Ghost mm -hmm. if they believe those words what happens they get saved but what are they saved unto they're saved unto being in a position to now receive and walk with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. who is the promise of your salvation are you getting this yes. Acts chapter 8 and then let's look at verse 12 and when they believed say believed believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ they were baptized both men and women mm -hmm. they believe baptism is an outward sign of your confession mm -hmm. right yes. that you believed on Jesus death burial and resurrection mm -hmm. that's what baptism is what they do they believed say they believed, they believed. now verse verse 14 now when the apostles say apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the Word of God they sent unto them Peter and John when they received the Word of God that means they believed it mm -hmm. do you understand mm -hmm. who when they were come down verse 15 prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. for as yet he was fallen on none of them only they were baptized in the name of Jesus when they laid their hands on them they received the Holy who did they receive the Holy Ghost who did they believe Jesus mm -hmm. and the word about Jesus mm -hmm. are you getting this we believe on Jesus we receive the Holy Ghost John chapter 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life how are you gonna not perish but have everlasting life believing on Jesus mm -hmm. it did not say receive Jesus in your heart or any other fiction that man made up whosoever believes shall be whosoever believes shall be now I received Jesus in my heart and told others to do so many 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 times receive Jesus in my heart you should receive Jesus in your heart and it, it didn't get me very far do you understand mm -hmm. doesn't mean I didn't because of belief say because of belief because, of belief. because I did believe on Jesus mm -hmm. also do you understand I did believe on and that's my point here I did believe on Jesus I did actually get saved but I was I was in the wrong position to go forward I was stepping out on the wrong foot mm -hmm. because I was trying to do something that was unscriptural mm -hmm. Does this make sense yes. until I believed the scriptures and stood solidly on those I believe the word concerning Jesus and I put it to bed I ended it mm -hmm. and from that point on I've had no difficulties mm -hmm. why why would that be because I was being scriptural mm -hmm. when you get right with the scripture you get right mm -hmm. with God I finalized it by my faith and belief in what the word said and then there was no shaking from it because the word doesn't shake Acts chapter 10 I'm going slow because there's there's things that I need to walk people through it's important salvation is important but even more important is getting saved the right way and into the right situation can you see that a lot of people get wrong, saved into the wrong situation mm -hmm. 
and end up wasting their life in the wrong situation all right Acts chapter 10 verse let's go all the way to verse 43 talking about Jesus here Peter is preaching to him Jesus give all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever say whosoever, whosoever believes in him shall receive remission of sins is this in your Bible yes. if you believe in Jesus mm -hmm. you shall have have possess remission of sins mm -hmm. yes. if you believe in Jesus mm -hmm. you shall have have possess remission of sins mm -hmm. Acts chapter 10 verse verse 36 that word I say you know which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached right so there was word being preached all throughout the region mm -hmm. how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him that's what was happening and they'd all heard about it mm -hmm. verse 39 and we are witnesses of all these things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem whom they slew and hanged on a tree they all witnessed this mm -hmm. say they all witnessed it they all witnessed it not just one witness in the dark somewhere they all witnessed it verse 40 him God raised up the third day and showed him openly not to all the people but unto witnesses chosen before of God even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead and 1st Corinthians 15 6 you can look it up if you want it also says and he appeared to above 500 other brethren mm -hmm. after he was raised from the dead mm -hmm. verse 42 and he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that it is he who's ordained of God to be the judge of the quick and the dead to him give all the prophets witness that through his name whoever believes in him shall receive remission of sins mm -hmm. so what's happening here these people are hearing this gospel they are hearing about Jesus the first time and being able to believe on Jesus mm -hmm. and let's see what happens verse 44 while Peter yet spake meaning while he was mid-sentence preaching about Jesus who Jesus was what Jesus did being raised from the dead all of these things that he just said while Peter yet spake these words the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word and they of the circumcision which believed were astonished because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost they believed on Jesus what he did because he just preached to them and as say as, as as they were believing on Jesus they received the Holy Ghost they believed and then they received they believe what did they believe they believed the words that Peter was preaching and it made them ready to receive the Holy Ghost are you here yes. Now I realize I'm presenting this in a way you've never heard it before but I assure you this is the truth I'm speaking by the Spirit of truth who is the Holy Ghost and if you believe these words you shall be saved salvation is in these words if you believe on Jesus you shall be saved I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God 
if thou believest you shall be saved say I believe, I believe that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is, the is the Son of God are you here I'm, t I'm just giving you I'm giving you the straight dope I'm not trying to make something up I'm not trying to make you feel anything salvation I'm going to tell you words in a minute I'm gonna tell you words that if you'll believe them you shall have remission of sins are you ready mm -hmm. God ordained Jesus of Nazareth he lived on the earth and he was crucified for sins not sins of his own he was crucified for sins don't get religious on me I'm saying words here crucifying mean he died for three days then he rose again from the dead appeared to all of his apostles and over 500 people to him all of the prophets of the Bible testify do you believe this yes. say I believe it, I believe it. on the authority of of the Word of God I call your sins forgiven say on the authority, on the authority of the Word of God, word of God. My, sins my sins are forgiven, are forgiven. welcome to the kingdom of God now you are ready to receive the Holy Ghost we believed on Jesus words spoken about him now we're ready to receive the Holy Ghost say Holy Ghost Holy I receive, you I receive you into my heart, into my heart. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name and right now he's going to be giving you words to speak as you receive him just begin to speak those syllables those sounds those phrases as they come up toast kabache o bro dindivink konstoin shimlahas to kestizioza lo bro go ahead speak them out tushke de heste hasta we've received you Holy Ghost and we begin we begin to speak in your languages oche kacha somando obrosius fasastis he's the one who's with you say he's with me learn to walk with him learn to worship him say I worship you Holy Ghost let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you for these these new believers these new believers in you that they just got saved in the right way Holy Ghost I ask you to seal them that salvation unto them and let them know you as God as they begin to walk with you and worship you and speak in your languages great things will begin to take place in their life a new life a new way new thinking believing and living we thank you for it Holy Ghost for all of these people coming in right now in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I thank you that you are my God and that you are a living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy I thank you that my finances are multiplied by the kingdom of God in Jesus name Amen. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth. To